Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So this question we're looking at 10 factorial over 7 factorial. This explanation point means that you're going to take this number and multiply it by every number underneath it. But because of that, we have both that on the top and bottom. So on the top here, 10 factorial is going to go all the way down to 1, and so will 7. But all of the 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the top will cancel out with all of those numbers on the bottom. So we'll just be left on the top with the 10 times 9 times 8. And in that case, that's going to give us an answer of 720, which is D. So when you have the same base, you can actually do multiple different rules from exponents here. So in this case, all of these have the same base of 6. If you are multiplying something at the same base, you can actually just add the exponents together. So this really will just become 6 to the 5th power on the bottom. Now on top, we have 6 to the 4th. When you're dividing, it's the opposite of multiplying. So the opposite of adding is going to be subtracting. So if I do 4 minus that 5, it's going to give me 6 to the negative 1. So our answer here is C. Number three says to cube root 64. Well, cube root can be somewhat difficult because there's no like mathematical way to just undo it. Instead, you just have to know your multiplication tables and kind of multiply yourself up to this 64. So cubing something, the opposite of this, would mean taking one of these numbers and multiplying by itself three times. So four times four times four, or nine times nine times nine. Knowing this, if I go through these quickly, starting at the smallest, four times four is 16, times another four would indeed be 64. So our answer here is B. Number four, we've got a lot of PEMDAS rule following going on here. So first thing you need to do is in parentheses. But notice the square root is inside the parentheses, which is like a parenthesis inside of parentheses. So that's going to be the first thing we look at. Square root of 16 is just 4. And 5 minus that 4 is going to give me 1. Then we have over here parentheses, 14 minus 12 is going to give me 2. And now multiplication division is done in the same step. So we're going to multiply from left to right using the numbers on the bottom here now. So 2 times 1 is going to give me 2. Divided by 2 is going to put us back at 1. And then times 3 is going to give us a final answer of 3, which is going to be answer A. So for number five, we have a lot of algebra to be doing here. So first off, let's combine like terms here with the a's. So in this case, I have 3a and a 2a over here going to give me 5a, and we still have that minus 5. And then this is just going to come down. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is move this a to the other side. Anytime you go on the other side of an equal sign, you need to do the opposite sign. So in this case, we have positive 5a, meaning I'm going to subtract 5a from the other side getting rid of the term over here, and this is going to leave us with 2a plus 2 over here. Now we need to go ahead and move this 2 over to the other side. Again, it's positive, so we're subtracting it. We're going to be left with 2a equals negative 7. Then, last but not least, divide both sides by that 2, giving me that a is equal to negative 7 over 2. Then you need to recognize that negative 7 over 2 is the same thing as negative 3 and a half, which is answer C. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you want to see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here, and they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful day.